Have you ever wondered how your body decides whether to burn that donut you just ate or the stubborn fat on your belly for fuel? It's not random. It's a fascinating biological process called metabolic switching. Think of your body like a hybrid car that can seamlessly switch between two different fuel sources. So what are these two fuels? The first is glycogen. When you eat carbohydrates like pasta, bread, or fruit, your body breaks them down into glucose. Any glucose you don't use right away gets stored in your liver and muscles as glycogen. This is your go-to quick access energy source. It's like the gasoline in your car, ready to power you through your day, especially during quick bursts of activity. But what happens when the gas tank runs low? That's when the magic happens. Your body makes a metabolic switch to its second fuel source, fat. This is the electric battery in our hybrid car analogy, a massive, long-lasting energy reserve. This switch happens during periods of fasting, like when you're sleeping during long, steady exercise or if you're following a low-carb diet. So how does this switch actually work? It's all managed by hormones, primarily insulin and glucagon. When you eat carbs, insulin levels rise, telling your body, hey, we've got plenty of glucose. Store it, this blocks fat burning. But when you haven't eaten for a while, insulin drops and another hormone, glucagon, rises. Glucagon sends the opposite message. Glucose is low. Time to tap into our fat stores. Let's take a simple, everyday example. You decide to go for a jog first thing in the morning before breakfast. For the first 20 minutes or so, your body is burning through last night's leftover glycogen. But as you keep going, and that glycogen depletes, your body switches gears and starts burning fat to keep you moving. You've just experienced metabolic switching in real time. Now why should you even care about this? Because being good at this switch, what scientists call metabolic flexibility, is a superpower for your health. First, it improves your insulin sensitivity, which is crucial for preventing type 2 diabetes. It also helps reduce chronic inflammation and boosts the health of your mitochondria, the tiny power plants inside your cells. And here's a cool bonus for your brain. When you burn fat for a prolonged period, your liver produces ketones. These little energy molecules are like super fuel for your brain, potentially enhancing focus and cognitive function. Some studies even suggest that this fat-burning state activates cellular repair processes, like autophagy, which is linked to longevity. So how can you become a better metabolic switcher? Try things like fasted cardio in the morning, experiment with intermittent fasting, maybe by finishing dinner a bit earlier. And of course, reducing refined carbs and sugars can make a huge difference. But remember, carbs aren't the enemy. They're essential for high-intensity exercise. The goal isn't to eliminate one fuel source, but to get your body flexible enough to use both efficiently. By training your body to be metabolically flexible, you're not just optimizing your energy levels. You're investing in your 